Okay, so it is late, 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 late. What time is it? Do I even got my phone? Yeah, I do. Um, oh, maybe I should put you guys like that so you guys can see me. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's 417, just getting the start. I got class at 7 p.m. I'm wearing the same hat as the last one because I'm rocking the Broncos sweater. They lost, but I'm a true fan, true fan. I always watch the Broncos no matter what, they were my team. Then the rest of the NFL sucks. No, I'm just kidding. There is, I love watching football, and that game was good. It came all the way down to overtime, and we tried to take a 62-yard field goal, which for most is stupid, but the Broncos have elevation in their stadium plus a really good kicker, and his best was like 50-something. And I'm guessing the reason we did that is because if we would have won the game, we would have been in second place in our division for uh, playoffs. And instead of taking the tie and, like, you know, having to work a little bit harder, we tried to, like, you know, just take a chance, which is all good. I'm not mad at it. Got unlucky. It had the distance. Curved to the right, which I didn't have too much faith in it, but it is what it is. We're going to hit the gym today. We are doing dead lift, baby. I'm excited. I've been laying on the couch. My pre-workout has been in for me, or the pill stuff has been in me in, like, an hour. I got my stuff. I got all of it right here. Lift, lifting belt and tripods underneath somewhere. Uh, I think my straps are back there. We are going to hit 465 today. That is the goal. But I'm going to definitely start. I watched uh, Brian Shaw. If you guys don't know who he is, he's a three-time, I think now he's either three-time or four-time, like, world strongest man. And I, I was big into CrossFit, so he had Ben Smith on there, who was a really good CrossFit person. And he actually showed him, instead of putting your shoulders over the bar, when your shoulders are, like, past or over the bar... You actually use your lower back, and the guy Ben was talking about how he had uh, back lower back problems, like it was hurting. So I was thinking, you know, that that must be my problem because my lower back hurts when I do deadlifts, like afterward, like a couple days after, and like not right away. So he told him how to pull back and it and actually like basically fall with the bar in a way. So I'm gonna try that to try that out today. It's not like a overnight thing, but as he said, it's gonna help it feel like it's more of a squat with your legs than a pull with your back. So we're gonna get into that. I think I'm going to stop at the gas station after. I don't think I'm going to do it before. I thought about doing it before. But let's go ahead and get in to the lift. And the bomb ass shades. No, I'm just kidding. I probably look like a douche. Anyways, there's a lot of people here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't count after ten. So, yeah, I only got like third grade learning. Nah, I just, I'm just too lazy. Double digits take too much effort. I got to focus on deadlifting. I can't tell if, too, if there's like a class in there because sometimes they do classes. This is going to be hard. I got a big ass tripod and a big ass camera and a big ol' ass. No? Okay. All right, cut, t Tyler, cut that All right, right about there. Just cut that part. <laughs>
Okay, guys, so sorry, it might be shaking. My arms are hurting. I don't know why, though. I think it's more on my shoulder. But uh, as you guys saw, I, I didn't hit 465 like I wanted to, or a PR. I don't even think I hit 450. I kind of messed my calculations up when I went from the tens on that on the end to 25. So I went to 455, which I almost picked up. But I think it threw me off. For, like it just psychologically threw me off, and I don't have anyone here to like. Like then you're in a gym, you can like have someone yell, and you're like, you're getting pumped. You kind of can't really do that, in you know just an average gym. So it is kind of hard, but it is what it is, you know. And then as you guys saw towards the end, I actually put bands. Well, what I could do, there was no two same bands to put on each side, but it's kind of like a restraint thing, and it, I did it for explosiveness. I need to work on my explosiveness. I'm really slow getting up so i need to work on you know popping straight up into it uh i think maybe starting soon i'm thinking about doing because i just helped some guys uh I think, I think they're like young uh military kit uh guys but they were uh, doing a little bit of crossfit stuff and olympic lifts and you know i was an intern i don't know if, like i don't think i guys told you guys this but i was actually an intern for pretty much i mean almost i, I worked at that same thing the same crossfit gym i worked out and interned for almost a year pretty much a year so I do know a lot about the CrossFit lifts and everything. I was very, uh, even though I can't always pull them off because I can't see them. That's why I put, put it on the camera, not only for you guys, but for me. And my windows are fogging. Holy crap. But yeah, uh, so because of that, I'm thinking since I like, you know, I helped them and they're very appreciative. I'm not the type of person that'll walk into a gym and start critiquing everybody. Even if I know you're doing it wrong, you came to the gym to work out. And if you were looking for help, you'd obviously go help some, ask someone for help that, you know, is like professional or you know a friend or the people that work here you know I'm not but if if you're doing something and I see you like you just you're like frustrated because you don't know why and you know the two were talking then sometimes you know if I feel like I can and like it's not like I don't feel like I'm intimidating them I'll go ahead and say you know like I told him you know he's not he wasn't popped in and everything so that's why it was kind of slowing him down and he wasn't getting underneath it and you know I was so nice about it and everything and you have to be very nice and don't sit there over and over after they asked you once to keep critiquing them even though they're not asking. So, you know, I continued to kind of watch him just to make sure. And then he, you know, he asked he can't get it, how he can get help get it above. So he was then asking me, which is nice because then it knows that, he, you know, he was, he appreciated my advice in the beginning and trusted me even though not knowing me. So it was really cool. So because of that, I'm thinking I might do like a weekly thing where, you know, maybe I take one lift that I do. And, you know, I talk about it. You know, I do it in the gym and I do, like, the different variations and all that. And then I just do a commentary over it, you know, saying this is what, like, the lift is, why you can do it and what it does and how to perfect it or make it better. So if you guys think if you guys uh, think that's a good idea, let me know in the comments. Say what, like, maybe what's the one of the lifts you want to see. And leave a like if you enjoyed this video because I'm getting ready to go home. Got a shower. It's almost 6, I think 6 o'clock, 6.15. I got to go shower and get ready for class. Because finals are upon us, along with winter. I'm more worried about finals than dying in the cold. Yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. No, I didn't hit my PR, but that's okay. We're going to keep working on explosiveness, and we're going to get on this. We are more worried about losing the weight. I would much rather keep losing this weight, because I saw 287 today. And I started at my journey... At, I put it officially at nine, uh, 293, but truly I was weighing upwards of 296 most days and some days. So I'm going to say I've almost lost 10 pounds and I'm very appreciative of that. And I know a couple pounds was water weight, but that is small improvements. We've officially hit under for a couple days now. I've been under 280 or it's under 290. That's amazing. My next goal is to get down to 280 and it says I should be starting to hit my goal towards, you know, getting to 270 by... You know, ne early next year. So we are going to get there. We are working this together. I'm so excited. There's so much more to come. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you later.